Hi there. Now, for this question, we are asked to work out the product moment correlation coefficient between D and Q, given these summary statistics. And it turns out that the answer is minus 0 0.749 to three significant figures. So if there was a problem, what I'm going to do is take you slowly through the working, but you might want to fast forward just to see the full solution quickly. So in order to find out the product moment correlation coefficient, you should be familiar with this formula here, only it relates to X and Y. In this example, we've got the variables D and Q. So all we need to do is say, replace the X with D's and the Y's with Q's. So we've got our product moment correlation coefficient R Instead of it being SXY, it is now SDQ, and that is divided by the root of, instead of SXX, it's going to be SDD, and instead of SYY, it'll be SQQ. So putting that in here, then we've got the root of SDD times SQQ. And we can take those values from what we're given up here. So that's going to be for SDQ, that's going to be minus 2.17. And that's all divided then by the root of SDD, which is 1.02. And that's multiplied with SQQ, which is 8.22. And so just simply getting on the calculator, working that out, we end up with minus 0 0.74941 and so on. And when rounded to three significant figures, that gives us minus 0 0.749 then to three significant figures, 3SF there for short. Don't forget that the product moment correlation coefficient will always be a value that is greater than or equal to minus one or less than or equal to one. OK, so if you get a value outside that range, you know you've made a mistake. OK.